Right, good morning and welcome to something that's a little bit different. I will get closer to that sign there because I'm, I'm, I'm holding something which you'll see in a second. But we're here at Herring's Green Activity Farm and Bird of Prey Centre. Um, yeah, we've actually come and done an alpaca walk, which is something Lisa actually paid for. It was on wish.com or something like that. And here he is. Here's my alpaca. We got um, like a, th a 30 minute experience uh, we've actually just walked around a field with a group of people we'll, I'll, I'll take you back that way and show you the other alpacas but we're yeah we're we're, we're taking it back to his little house now his little, yeah his little area so Lisa's got one over there as well really cute I mean you've got a whole type to them so it's a, it's a male one he's called Monarch this one really cute aren't you we're taking some pictures so if you want to see the pictures don't forget to follow the uh, Facebook page, Coaster Crazy, and Instagram as well, Coaster Crazy Andy. We've also got some donkeys in here and some Shetland ponies. Hello. <laughs> oh, look, the little ponies come over. Yeah, chickens down there, but these alpacas, really good experience, really. I can't remember how much it cost, because it was like a discounted version of what we got, because we're supposed to have some cream teas as well, but. Because of what's happened with COVID and that, they've they actually they actually cancelled that bit. So it's just the alpaca walk, and it's been really good actually. You don't have to walk fast with them. You just obviously hold the lead. Come on, some goats over there. But yeah, I don't know if she'll probably watch it. But uh, Charlotte on Theme Park Worldwide, she would absolutely adore this experience because you can actually walk the goats as well so i know she likes the goats I'll, I'll message her in a bit and let her know but yeah we have the alpacas really good i'll give her give it back to the lady yeah lady here's, here's, your, here's your here's your here's your broken oh yeah lisa yeah how did i forget that yeah lady then you can review me saying the lady was horrible yeah i had the broken one i went to stroke him in oh the rain as well so i'm gonna have to cut this short unfortunately in a minute uh, yeah that was really good I'm getting wet now yeah make sure you bring some suitable clothing with your walking boots or whatever and uh, yeah you can come and see the alpacas we'll probably be waiting for this uh, weather to clear up and I'll show you the rest of the activity farm because what they've got here they've got some horses and there's cows over there the um, I forget what they're called Shetland cows or something like that I think the Hi Highland cows it's the ones with the long hair on it some horses here but yeah weather's terrible today wasn't really got to film it but i thought i might as well show you something but uh yeah oh, i'm getting soaking wet now right so we've just dried ourselves up after that bit of a rainstorm yeah i'm not sure if this is the main entrance at all um but that's the tea room that we've supposed to go into which is it's all closed up uh there's some boards here showing you some of the activities and some of the shows that are actually on but there's all sorts of stuff um half day hot you can come here and do all like the bird sort of thing I'm, i don't know don't really know about the hawking and that um, but this is the, the team of the people it's a small family business but again we've, we've come to come out to support it we we like uh, goats and alpacas and stuff like that so we saw it online and thought why not we'll come and have a look uh, it's got all the stuff in place for social distancing one-way systems but there's a load of um, uh, birds here as well uh, golden hybrid sepig oh well we don't oh we don't like me oh got a bit too close though yeah you like me so yeah, I've got like these little little huts that they're in. Oh wow, look at that! That's a yeah, golden eagle, that isn't it? Yeah. Is it so? Bald eagle, sorry. Hello. There we go. Wow. Hello. Too close. Wow. Oh. oh, there's another one. They don't like you. No, they don't. <laughs> There's loads of them. They're all down this side as well. Oh, that one's Kestrels and hawks and all sorts of things. Yeah. This one's friendly. Ah, oh, that one's friendly. Hello. Not too close. Wow. It is big though, that. It's huge. Obviously the uh, 
native to America, North America. American bald eagle. I actually think it might be the first time I've ever seen one, to be honest. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Wow, look at that. That's even bigger. What's that one? I don't know, I can't see it. Yeah, all the things are all... This... Vanilla Uh Yeah, it's massive like that. It's huge. So, yeah, apparently, I think it was from what she's been saying, I think it was £32. The actual thing that we were supposed to do was £32. Um, that includes the cream tea. And that includes the cream tea, like I've just been saying. Back, but we can come back for that um, uh, another day. But, uh, but it's nice to just come and support these places anyway. That's beautiful, that bird. Again, it's some sort of... Uh, Hawk, I think. I, eat, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really into my birds. I know that's a bald goss eagle. It's a what? A goshawk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a goshawk because it's on the thing. Oh, my God, look at the buzzards. Oh, there's loads of them on the other side. Yeah, there's a lot here, actually. But, yeah, we're actually going to get a drink. We just got sidetracked by all the, uh, the birds. So they're all down this side. They're over there. They're on that side as well, eh? They're all puffed up. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and then the owl as well down there. There's loads of birds, but yeah, we've got to get something to drink. Um, this place is near. Oh, some hand sanitizer there as well. We've already just used some because we've just been to the toilet and freshened up. Um, yeah, this place is sort of in between Bedford and Luton. Like I said, it's a, it's a very small place. It's not the sort of place you could come here for a, a full day out. I mean, we're doing the our pack of walk. We'll have a walk around here. And then we might go into Milton Keynes for a bit, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Like I said, we don't really Yeah, we don't really plan anything, but there's all the critters and we'll we'll, we'll show you in a minute, but there's a yeah, shop in here. Uh when you gotta wear a face mask. Yeah, so I've sort of figured it out. It's basically a looks like it's a farm shop. So yeah, there's the Lisa just pointed these out. You make your own pano chocolate or pano raisins and yeah it's all it's all pre pre-frozen and stuff in there danish pastry oh god yeah butter croissants and garlic kievs and all well, your yeah, uh, homemade stuff down here not the dolmio <laughs> I don't know if there's any homemade stuff there'll be some of it there's like local beers and things over there and wear a face mask all these pies, traditional pies. Yeah, very nice. All these different quiches. Oh, no, that's not. It's I, it's apple pies. pies, yeah. The, nor the northerner. What's in that one? Classic meat and potato. E Penguin pie. Smoked haddock, cheese and potato. Yummy. Oh, yeah, I think of... Lemon, lemon sponge. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Yeah, I think we'll be getting some stuff from in here. All your jams and things over there as well. Nice, right, so we got the uh, got the drink. Yeah, some of the. Uh, Stuff in that shop's really nice. I ended up getting some shortbread and some cookies and a cake. Very nice. Lovely. Two. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, oh, he's doing the head thing. There's one at the foot at the bottom as well. In the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just down there. Oh. They're not the right, they're not the right owls. They're barn owls that are in there. I'm sure of it. It's not even the same picture. <laughs> Row. Row. Oh. Brown wood owls got blue eyes. Oh yeah. Oh. Eagle owl. Eagle owl. So yeah, no, uh, no theme parks again this weekend. If, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm not even that bothered about going to them. I, I did say that just before the uh, the lockdown finished. But it's nice to go and see.
some of the smaller local places that we've visited you know places that we've never even been to before and it's great to go out and see something new and it's something i keep saying to people you know we i didn't know this place was here until we booked online and did the alpaca walk and then you get here and you find out there's there's all these birds of prey to look at as well so uh obviously some of the uh things are closed but uh yeah it's, it's not looking like a good year for uh businesses and things found out last night that tully's uh shocktober fest yeah uh, there's nothing even in there um tully shocktober fest unfortunately it's been cancelled for this year um yeah it's, it's just it's sad there's a lot of halloween events that have been cancelled um uh, old goose fair nottingham goose fair I, I said i'd give you an update on it uh, that's been cancelled as well unfortunately so there's been a lot there's been a lot that's been cancelled this year and it's, it's just oh my god what the hell is that what is that oh my god that's massive is it an eagle owl oh no it's not it can't be an eagle owl. that thing's massive what is it Stella. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's the biggest one in the world, isn't it? Stella Sea, a sea eagle. Heard them talking about them on uh, Radio One. Look at the size of the turds. It's oh my god, it's just it's huge. It's massive. It's got bigger poos than our cat. Well, it's got bigger poos than a small dog. Oh my god, that thing's massive, isn't it? I I, I've never seen one of them before. That is huge. I bet the wingspan's massive on that thing. Is there any information about it? Yeah. Or is it all blurred out? Oh yeah. Uh, heaviest eagle in the world. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the wingspan is. Well, I bet it's massive. 20, 250. Huh? Height up to 150 centimetres, diameter of 250 centimetres. No, Just... that's not the wingspan. 250 no, centimetres. Oh, oh, is it? Oh my eggs. God. <laughs> Wow, even the nest's massive. Yeah. So yeah, uh, other than this here, the birds of prey, um, I'll, like I said, I'll walk back over to where the, the alpacas are and show you the alpacas. And you was too wuss. I wasn't too wuss. Was, I wasn't, you got to use two hands. I would have vlogged it, but we just literally walked around a, walked around a field. But yeah, like I said, the, uh, you can come here, book it online. Uh, I'll, I'll link the descriptions in the uh, description box below so you can have a look if you're interested in coming and doing the alpacas and come and have a look at the birds. Um, what's the wingspan of that Stella Sea Eagle? Um, believe it or not, she's quite a small one. Oh, really? <laughs> um, so hers is only about seven and a half, eight foot. Oh my wow. God, um, that's massive. But the, the biggest ones, I mean, give you an idea, she's about 16 pounds. Yeah. The biggest ones can weigh about 27 pounds. Oh my God. So that's... <laughs> and what sort of wingspan is that then for a bigger one then? About eight and a half foot. Oh my God. On yeah. the wow. real light maximum end of the scale. Wow, like, that's massive. Bad. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. Right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the uh, information. Just stop and ask a member of staff. Is that a vulture over there? <laughs> Is that a vulture? The uh wow, well, look at you! Hello! Hello! Oh, 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 oh. I will pick your bone. I will pick you! What else have we got? There's all sorts of stuff. Black kite. Ah. It's got some of my favourite ones here as well, some red kites. We can hear them from the car park and they actually circle around our house um, all the time. We, we actually went out and um, left them some food out and in the morning when I went to work they were circling, there was about six or seven of them. Oh, hello. It's a snowy owl. Yeah, snowy owl. Yeah, there's loads to see here. Got Mr. Stork down here trying to get out. There's your red kites. Beautiful. Shouldn't really be in a cage up. Oh, there's a Spitfire up there. Whoa, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, really into my aircraft as well. Hopefully going to uh, Ducks for their show as well, actually. I think it's uh, September time. Wow. 
Yeah, they, they shouldn't really be in cages. Them. I mean, I, I don't know the history of them, but they might have been injured or something. So they're looking after them. There's a load in here as well. Look at all the feathers. Wow. Well, these, if you go to um, uh, Warwick Castle, this is what they have them. They have them flying around. Red kites, beautiful birds. Well, they actually fly around where we live, so wow, gorgeous. What else have we got in here? Some sort of another stork in there. Pelicans, are they pelicans or something? Yeah, storks. So that's pretty much it for the, uh, for, the for the birds. There's your hand wash stations there. I quite like this. This is, this is quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, not allowed to put your not allowed to put your head through there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've got this play park down here as well for the kids. There's some sort of buzzards in there as well. Are they vultures? Yeah, turkey vultures. Wow. Tul turkey turkey, turkey vultures. A picnic area. Oh, I'm gonna put my rubbish in the bin. Play area for kids, which I don't know if it's open or not. You got the uh, random fire engine there. Then we'll go show you the uh, the alpacas, which is what we uh, walked. Well, the ones we walked are over on the other side. We'll go over to that bit in a minute. But it looks like they do some sort of show here as well uh, with the benches, just down here, and the little tree stumps. It's really nice now. Soaked before. There you go, and then go in the fire engine. But yeah, this is this. It's what it's what it's about. The channel, you know. I mean, I probably not expecting to get a, a huge amount of views on this one because it's not Flamingo Land or Fantasy Island or whatever. But my, I don't even probably know if I told you this as well. Um, yeah, I like going to the parks uh, for the rides and things like that, and I like to do the vlogs for the experience and to show you guys what's it what it's about. Unfortunately, there's quite a few parks that are actually not allowing on ride POVs at the minute either. So, like Fantasy Island, I can go there, there's not a problem. But I can't film on the rides, which is, uh, yeah, fair enough, it's understandable. Isn't it? The uh, the staff haven't got time to be checking people's uh, <laughs> people's uh, equipment at the moment. Um, yeah, so and Oakwood's one of the other ones as well. I don't think we'll be going to Oakwood this year, unfortunately. I'd like to have gone up, but uh, the uh, the event that we normally go to the with the uh, European Coaster Club that's been cancelled as well. So yeah, I mean we can't kind of go to France. We really wanted to go to Euro, uh, Euro Disney or Disneyland Paris, as it's called. We got the uh, fire engine there as well. <laughs> you can get in it and play with all the stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, go! Oh yeah, it's got all the helmets in it and everything. Air tilt. Oh, that's like looking here. Oh wow, it's cool. So you got kids that uh, kids that are into fire engines. Get you get yourself here. I mean, there's nothing to say we can't come inside it. No. It's all open. Oh, someone's left a little cup there. But yeah, we've got a helmet there. I wouldn't suggest putting that on. There's another cup down there as well. Loads of rubbish in here. But yeah, awesome. So uh, fire engines as well. well. I'll walk over to the uh, alpacas. Show you the alpacas, which is uh, what we walked this morning. So basically, we came in this morning. We said who we were. That we booked online. Uh, we followed the girl that we showed you uh, before, Lisa. I think she was called. Um, we had the two male lemurs, uh, little lemurs, alpacas, the same thing, aren't they? They're pretty much the same animal, um, alpacas. Um, we came here, but like I said, you can also walk the goats as well. So, yeah, you've got a few goats in here as well. There's a few over there. Hello, goats. So, yeah, you can walk the goats as well. We basically walked out of this gate that's just at the bottom of that uh, fence there. And then we walked up this lane, 
to the end over there somewhere and then just basically walk around a, a field and, and back down here again so it wasn't a massive walk it was about a 30 minute experience i think she's still in the fire engine mr goat's following me so yeah if you're into goats and alpacas and all sorts of animals and things get yourself here like i said i'll put all the links in the description so you can uh so you know where it is woman's little boys just run away <laughs> oh dear but yeah really cute these alpacas we've got one over here they, i mean yeah some of them were a bit like a bit timid the one i had it didn't like its back being stroked but I, I managed to stroke its neck a bit and these are the female ones in here there's a couple of little babies over there yeah really cute experience really not the longest of vlogs uh, there's like i said there's another bit over on the other side with some critters and things we're going to have a look at that oh he's following me i think are you following me following me um go and have a look at the other side and then that's it i'll i'll, I'll wrap it up um is it, like i said it is a bit random i i did want to do a, a full vlog from here but i just thought with with walking the alpacas it was quite hard because you had to use both hands because the woman was like oh if you let go of it it'll just run off and because we had the um the horny males they wanted to try and get the uh the, it was quite funny actually i, I wish i did film it but there was a lot of other people there and uh doing it as well so uh yeah i should walk over now and show you what else is they've got here all right so we've just seen the birds of praise and the alpacas and all the other stuff with the fire engine as well but i just thought i'd show you this banner because i did say i'd put it at the end but the uh website there birds of prey center.co.uk uh open 10 till 5 it's all on there if you want to see it it's all on there come and have a look and there's the owner over there yeah there he is <laughs> but yeah they've got all the stuff in place as well so don't be put off by that and it is a saturday today as well saturday afternoon and it's, it's not very busy so you don't have to worry about uh, too many people you've got the chickens here hey up Where you, there's one over there what roaming ducks and chickens it's, yeah there's all sorts of stuff here Well, oh, there it is. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. I mean, this is pretty much the last thing we need to show you anyway. A lovely house there. Yeah, very nice. Roman chicken. There's all sorts of stuff. I mean, yeah, it's not a full offering because of, of you know, the pandemic. But it's what you sort of expect, really. Some sort of uh, reptile house there. They've got a big snake on it, anyway. What have we got over here? Some more birds, or? I don't really know. Can't see anything. I don't think there's anything in that one. I don't think there'll be anything in that one either. The uh, hole in the fence, it says a green macaw anyway. I don't think there's anything in that one. Here's your tape again. <laughs> what have we found? Is there anything in there? What's in that one? Ferret. I don't think there's anything. Stinky ferrets. Slinky. Oh, slinky. slinky ferret. Oh, the budgies. Hello. Hello. Oh, they are. <laughs> what are they doing? He's rocking. Are they asleep? Ooh. No. The one's got his eyes open. Oh. Really odd. Hello. Oh, there's apples everywhere. Is there an apple tree somewhere? Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> Underneath. Uh, the weeping willow. Yeah, there's nothing in some of these. We have to put out on the other on the other side for yeah. the display, I think. Yeah, that's all empty. There's what's up? Oh look, Lisa. Yeah, look. Baby goat. I think it's a. T oh look, there's a wallaby. Oh, look, baby goat. Hello. Look. Baby goats! <laughs> oh, my knee. Oh. I wish I brought my food. Hello! Yeah, yeah, that was a thing, innit? I don't think I mentioned that. We went to West Midland Safari Park and um, paid whatever, six quid or whatever it was for that box of food, and we stuck, still got half of it left. I did cut it out. We, we, did, we did feed the camels. We're not, we're not supposed to feed the camels. We drove off and it was like, don't feed the camels. It's like, well, what's the box of food for if you can't use it? Ah, so yeah, baby goats as well. Well, 
Gobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah, not the wallabies. Go on then. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hello. 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 Pecky, pecky. <laughs> Hello. Is it food? Is that what is that? What is it? I'm actually pretty. Much... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, it oh, it pecked. Run oh, oh, run away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Like Noisy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite cute. We like these sort of little places. Uh, little farm parks and stuff. Probably do a few more safari parks and zoos and things. Quite fancy going to Colchester Zoo. And uh, yeah, this is quite random. The uh, <laughs> dinosaurs, I don't know what that's got to do with the farm, but yeah, they would at least have put something in it. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, it's quite cool. They must have been off some old, I don't know, attraction somewhere. Oh, what? Tasty pork roll, hog roast. Oh, where is that? Please head to the farm shop. Oh, I'm really hungry now. But yeah, there's a nice cream stall that's closed. There's a pet corner over there. We noticed that's closed as well. There's tractors you can go on uh, for the well, the kids anyway. Kids can go on the tractors. There's a well, sheep, Shetland ponies. Tell you what, it's a nice little attraction to visit as well. We actually visited, well, we've been a few times on the channel now. It's where they have the the howl, uh, Tully's, uh, Tully's the howl, the uh, uh, Halloween event that we really like. That's actually a mead open farm. I might have said that before. That's quite a, a nice little attraction. Sort of similar place to this, isn't it, really? Ah, oh, hello. Little man. <laughs> little man. Quite a few in here, a couple of donkeys as well. Oh, they like the traditional style, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love some chickens or that's something. That's a cockerel. They're ah, chickens, aren't they? Yeah, but that's a cockerel. That is, yeah, but are they are they are they not like young cockerels or something? I don't oh, know. I have no idea. No idea. We're not bird experts. I'll tell you where else we went as well actually. We near where we live um there's actually the books goat sanctuary i think it's called we we, we, we went I don't know, probably last year now i think it was we just and was it the beginning of this year i think it was the beginning of this year or whenever it was uh, again I, I didn't i didn't really film it there wasn't really a lot there if i'm honest i think there was more of other everything else other than goats it's following me yeah they haven't got any food in their um thingies are you hungry Got a sugar cube. Sugar cube. Well, no, it's really cute here. We've we've had a, a good few hours actually. We've been here uh, just over two hours. So, w what you get for your money's worth is is all right. There's more goats over here, so there's plenty of animals. Wow, good size that. Huh? Oh, oh. We'll stick to the rules. Oh, stick to the rules. Oh, here's he. Is your friend? The donkeys as well. Donkeys. No, that one is. The one coming now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a fluffy one. Hello. These are our friends. Has he still got grass in his face? Yeah, this, is this one that I walked? Is it? Yeah. Because he's more fluffy. Yeah, that's my one, this. <laughs> the one with grass in his whole, face. Bit Hello. Yeah, that was the one that you did. So what? Uh, out of one. Yeah, what, so what was your one called? Um, ah. Cherokee, this one's called Cherokee. Cherokee. Mine was called uh, Monarch. I think that's the one, yeah, he looks a bit scared when he reminds me. And then there's another one just over there as well. Hello, I'm back again. Yeah, he's, that's the one I had. <laughs> he's not keen. We're going to see the, uh, go see the cows quickly. Uh, we'll walk back that way. And then that's it, I'll wrap up. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Well, at least let me stroke you once. You 
did stroke it. Ah. They just want food now. Yeah, these want yeah, they want feeding. Or is this the one I had? I think it was definitely no, it, was it was them it was them two, wasn't it? It's got a hole on, it's got a little chunk out of its bum from when it's ah. been fighting, that one. No. Let's go and have a look at the cute cows. I love these cows. I forgot what they're called again. I said it before. Angus. No, not Angus. Shetland. Shetland. No. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my With these wet nose. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, Mr. Coo. Coos. Oh. They are adorable. I know, innit? Imagine oh. owning a bit of land and having a couple of, couple of cows. Yeah, he has. Eh? Oh, your friend. Covered yeah. Covered in flies, though. Oh, it's really far. Yeah. Gorgeous. I've got to take a picture of you. Yeah, get some pictures. Yeah, how could I get it wrong? There were Highland cows. I don't know why I said Shetland cows. <laughs> Shetland ponies. But yeah, the lady's just over there. Lisa, I think, against who it was called. This goat is massive. She just said that it'll eat anything. It's called Mr. Grey. It's huge goat. Massive. It's bigger than them little ponies. Oh, he's pooing now. It's been weeing a minute ago. So yeah, more goats over here as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one, really. Just a show you what's here really i mean we've enjoyed it the alpaca walk was quite good some of the little animals and things they've got here the donkeys the, sh the little ponies little, little cows alpacas oh my god look at that cat sheep <laughs> i don't know if it's really old or just yeah it's like, oh, food you want food it's a... <laughs> what It's like that. It's like that thing at Black Gang China, isn't it? That's what it is. Hello. 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 Oh. Well, yeah, that's that's it, really. There's not really much else to show you here. I hope you've enjoyed this one, really. Very short, uh, short vlog. That's all right. Fussed enough today. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day or even tomorrow, really. Like I said, I'm not actually that bothered now going to places. If I'm honest, everywhere's from what I've seen just looks so busy Blackpool Pleasure Beach are doing the um, late night opening every Saturday until the end of uh, August I think um, it just looks so busy it, I mean we don't have season passes anyway so we just have to pay full price and it just looks so hectic um, some of the Merlin parks as well Legoland I'd, I'd like to go back to Legoland and Chessington as well they're fully booked up until the end of the month so we might leave it a while until we actually go back to any theme parks uh i was actually thinking about going back to the uh, the gulliver's parks as well uh, somewhere that um i'd like to go back to and gulliver's milton Keynes isn't that far away from here either but uh, no i hope you've enjoyed this run again something a little bit different it's something to mix the channel up a bit i know that it was never intended to be just theme parks and roller coasters but more of attractions as well and things like this just something that's a bit different you know if you enjoy animals and things come and have a look i'll link it all in the description below but there's not much else to show you everything else is closed unfortunately i don't even know what we'll do i mean it's not like we could go to the cinema there's not really much going on in the cinemas and just just been a bit of a rubbish year hasn't it really it's a bit it's one of them it's not not nothing it's, you know it's not our fault and things but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell for next time upload another video and so i don't get everyone in the shop behind me i'll uh, i'll finish it now yeah that was the ice cream store that's closed as well but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one uh i'll see you in the next one bye for now